Do Americans have reason to be concerned about this? I think they have uh, every reason to be curious as to uh, how the program has expanded uh, from the time that President Bush inaugurated it. I think there's a, a need for transparency. I thought the, uh, the real challenge associated with the revelations over the past uh, week, I think, are complicated because over the past several months, this administration has demonstrated in so many areas with Benghazi, Department of Justice, and the IRS uh, that they're, they're not to be trusted, that there are information gaps. And I think, as uh, General Alexander and General Hayden have said, there's a, uh, this is a program that began under President Bush uh, when uh, we weren't prepared and should never be prepared to sacrifice uh, any constitutional protection for, for security. It's been expanded. So I think the real challenge here, in my judgment, is a little bit more transparency to the, to the extent they're able to provide it for us. Let me be clear. So you're okay with the program. And you're saying that Absolutely. American, no Americans question. should be okay with the program, too. But what you're looking for is more explanation from the administration, the president, to come out and explain exactly what they're doing. Do, yeah, I, this do, do I hear that right? I think that's precisely it. I mean, this revelation comes after a series of other challenges associated with this administration. So there's this, there's absolutely no trust right now vis-a-vis -vis this administration and this government. And I think there are just a couple simple questions that need to be answered. And to the extent you can do that without compromising the, the efforts we've undertaken, one is... Has the program been expanded? Everybody seems to suggest that it has. Tell us, if you can, how and why and when. And then secondly, why do you need the metadata? Why do you need all of it rather than just surgically going after individual phone and numbers? I think you that, do that, that, I think is, people better understand. That, that, that is the tricky part of this. I mean, when you were running the show, the big debate was whether or not you were tapping phone calls that came in from overseas or watching phone calls from overseas Correct. into the U.S. And now we've gone to emails and possibly Google searches. How do we get here? Well, I think that the, uh, that's a good question. I mean, I think that's the, the, the whole notion of the expansion of the program. I mean, President Bush said very specific parameters, and there's been testimony to suggest that those parameters have been expanded, and people need to explain to us under what circumstances it was necessary to do so. It is a matter of transparency. We don't want them to lay out exactly how they're conducting the program. Demonstrate the need. Don't be a bystander, Mr. Well, President. Why, why, don't by they, the way, don't, why don't they tell us? Well, I mean, uh, it's on the front question. page of every newspaper and website for a week now. Well, I think that's, that's a fair comment. And I think you have uh, Senator Paul and everybody all getting all excited. Look, we had a privacy office in the Department of Homeland Security, the first congressionally mandated office. We talked about this all the time. What is it we do as a government to protect our citizens that is consistent with the Constitution. There is a law that says you can use the FISA court, you have congressional oversight, mm -hmm. so there, and, and you have a court that has to approve uh, the, the application before to you get, can, get access to this you can information. Access the information. So, but here's what's 